And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Dyson Sphere program. And uh, I scoped out the stars in the universe here, and trying to find a good one for a Dyson Sphere. And the blue giant here has a pretty decent luminosity, 2.3, and obviously B-type stars... Uh, no, O-type stars are the best. But the O-types, the one O-type star in this cluster is way far away from everything else in the system. So if if we have to rely on importing materials, that it, the, the distance would be so great. It would be hard to keep stocked all the stuff that we would need. Um... So I looked around, the blue giant here was a really good contender, Luminosity. The only problem with this system is it only has one planet, and that planet is orbiting a gas giant. So if we were to try to fire like solar sails and all the components, we're not going to get very much benefit out of that Dyson Sphere at all, because for one... It, when the planet is behind the giant, the, the gas giant, nothing would fire, and it would shadow any power generation that we could possibly get. So even though that that star is a really good potential, I think I think it would not be so good in terms of planning. So I was looking around in the local or the more local star cluster here, and we have some other types of stars b type stars are the next the next best and of all of those this one down here the one i'm at has a really decent luminosity um 1.8 is nothing to sneeze at when it comes to that kind of stuff um um there is some other ones further out that are that are good too but this one you know we're we're right into the star cluster and there's plenty of other stars around that we can use for other components. So going back to this system, you can see we have a lot of potential planets for factories. And the other selling point to this was um, the sulfuric acid that's in this one here. Um, I've already renamed this titanium alloy, as you can see. Um, guess what we're gonna be making on this planet in vast quantities. Um, and there is there is a uh, gas giant here, and I've already put down the forty gas giant gas giant straws that are around this. So there's already this is already uh, producing uh, deuterium and hydrogen, and yeah, plenty of other stars or plenty of other planets here to launch solar sails. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could launch solar sails from this planet here. Um, I don't know if that's too far away or not far away enough. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, but this planet I'm, I'm, I'm going to attempt to launch them. Uh, so the titanium alloy planet, the reason why I wanted that is because it already has sulfuric acid. We do not have to import sulfuric acid. And it's got plenty of iron lots of iron and titanium now looking at oops uh looking at the recipe again uh the titanium alloy here uses four titanium four steel and eight sulfuric acid to make four uh, titanium alloy now you could proliferate this but that would be a huge amount of spray tan stuff. That would be just a vast amount of that stuff because of all the ingredients that go into it. So what I would rather do is proliferate the steel, right? Get the steel proliferated um, and get the titanium proliferated. And that way the, the production we're, we're ramping up, we can just have more crafters on titanium alloy because we're producing excess amounts of both of these. So we're gonna need some serious mining and smelting setups. 
And again, what usually happens with these planets is one half of this planet, one hemisphere, is full of the ores, and the other hemisphere is basically devoid of the ores. So, yeah, there's that. So what I think I'm going to do is plan on mining and smelting on one side and delivering stacked components to the other for a truly massive factory. Um, we just have to think about like what ratios we're going for here because eight, you know, eight sulfuric acid per craft, um, you know, it's not quite one to one, you know, one per second. It's a little less. It's like three quarters, um, you know, 75% of one per second. So I think we're going to be able to do this. Now, the blueprints, if we want to have the, here's the, my late smelt here. So you can see there's proliferation and stacking integrated into this. And this uses the next tier of smelters so one thing we could do um, because proliferating the iron this way will produce way more than we need so because my proliferation is set so high uh, we're gonna need some special we're gonna need some special uh, blueprints for this um, and there's some titanium and there's some more iron uh, any more titanium in the vicinity I don't think so oh, there's some right over here <clears throat> and there's again there's plenty of iron here lots and lots of iron so let's try to get a blueprint because we're gonna need a special blueprint for steel if we want to proliferate steel so the biggest issue is iron into steel is three to one now technically it's one to one um, smelting wise in the time it takes to smelt three of these you can smelt one of these but if we're proliferating either iron, well, may, do we proliferate iron? I don't know if we, do we really need to proliferate iron? I kind of want to just proliferate steel. That would simplify matters by a lot. So if we slap down uh, one smelting here, let's see, flip this around, um, give ourselves some space. Because we're going to have one of these here. Okay. Um, we're not going to proliferate this. But we are going to need to stack it because this line is actually capable of, of uh, smelting double the amount of iron. Right? So if we go to and use one of these beasts... Uh, try to get as many many of those covered as possible 20 21 I think yeah that would eliminate that so 21 look at that output 2520 per minute so there's one Now, let's see if we can't eke out a little bit 20 out of there. And if there's extra in here, we can always we can always manage that. This is going to be tricky. Twenty one there. Okay. All right. 
So if we plan, oh, there's another iron up here. That's that's pretty crazy. Um, that's 19. All right. So the steel I'll probably make up here because we're gonna have a ton of iron coming up here. Like a ton of iron. Okay. So let's get let's get this up and running. So again, each one of these smelters is going to double is going to be able to smelt double what are you what are we usually do. So if we go iron, all the way through. Again, those auto saves seem so much more frequent right now. I don't know why. Okay, there's iron. That is a huge amount of iron. Like, massive. Um, we don't need any of the proliferator stuff. We're not going to proliferate iron. What we want to do is proliferate the iron, or not to proliferate, we want to stack the iron coming out. like this so these are going to be this is going to be a full set of double stack this is going to be um, a, you know for a stack of four and then if we let's see titanium iron 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 we have another one there let's should we put down another one I don't anticipate needing stone Let's cover that stone up. Right? Um, and then use this. Hmm. 19. 20. So, okay, um, and then one more set. That'll give me two full belts of stacked iron. I don't know how many, uh, I've used quite a lot of smelters already. <clears throat> Um, this is going to go here. We're going to have another one of these here. Oh, is that... That's facing right. Okay. <clears throat> now we need to make sure that this the material coming out here is stacked properly. Um, so I have a 4x stacker here. So you can come out there. You're going to come out there. And you're going to come out there. Um, and then the titanium will come out there. Okay. So this, it's going to be 4x stacked, but like that there we go and then these obviously need to be iron like so um,
So if we merge this and this, then we take this one, we say you come out to here and do it there, that will get us we go one, two, three. Do that. Uh, this is going to need to be gracefully bent down like that. Same with this. So we can feed in the material. Um, Oh, I didn't put a thingy there. I guess I didn't even notice that. Let's go there. Okay. Oh, no. Really? And then you come out over and in. Like so. This one can come in there. Come on. Ooh, that that might be tricky. There we go. Okay. This one is going to come up and into there. Oh, I don't want to hook that up just yet. So the titanium, all of this is going to go into steel. Titanium. Uh, we need to, I mean, we need to smelt it, of course. Not sure how much we need yet. Um, although titanium is a, I believe it's two to one. Yeah. So how about uh, eighteen hundred thirty six hundred? Yeah. Um, we need another smelting stack for this side. Uh, I think my yeah, I think my render just crashed. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Yeah, I've been having a huge problem with this game um, uh, where the render crashes. The uh, The game is still running in the background, but for some reason, um, yeah, the, the, the render freezes up, and it's a, like a DirectX 11 rendering crash, and I have done many, many, many things to try to fix it. To no avail. This one I might proliferate. This would actually be a good idea to proliferate this. Um, and the other titanium was way up here. Um, <clears throat> yeah. We might want to proliferate the titanium. Do 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 titanium. Yeah, I thought I had it. I thought I had it fixed. Thought I fixed it yesterday. I could render a crash, but apparently not. It just crashed on me again. So, yeah, 
tough times. Uh, so if we're going to want to proliferate the titanium, we are going to get... Let's get one of these. We want blue spray tan. Um, let's get put some of you in there. Inload of drones and remote demand. Okay. So now we can say proliferation. So this will help that two to one. That's why the math works out better. It'll help keep that two to one ratio from getting too crazy. Um do we need hmm let's get you in before I hook before I hook everything up I just want to make sure it's all good <clears throat> Um, because this is all powered up here. I just want to make sure everything is run the way it needs to be run. <clears throat> so the other thing is, with these double stacked, um, should we, yeah, I think we should take this, stack that. Come out here, and then do the same over here. Uh, where's my where's my belt? Uh, let's sneak it. Sneak it in behind here, and that should be a full belt of quad stacked titanium. Should be. Okay. So, this we can just take right over. Hmm. Okay, what I want to do is then run this this way. And then the steel, or the iron, will come in there. All right, let's, uh... oh, I need to hook this one up. I need to hook this one up. Yeah, when you don't place this on a grid, it can get all messed up. Now, we want one, two, three. Uh, let's get 
over that. A roundabout way of doing it. All right, so let's uh, hook this guy up, and then we want to make sure this is set to at least thirty-six hundred. Same with this guy. can actually go a lot higher than that I could I could bust that out and, and do it quad but I don't I don't think I need to and then this one down here same thing and then this and then this one Uh, and I don't have right I don't have this titanium um, and we are gonna need more power so let's take you and we're gonna request some fuel rods some power down here. bring that down in here and there's our other set and these are getting proliferated so we're doubling the output so it is essentially turning that into one to one all right, so we should have, well, eventually quad stacked iron, where there's there's some quad stacked iron, and same with this. Eventually, it'll be all quad stacked, or it should be, at the very least. You can see some uh, little hitches here and there, probably. <clears throat> All right, now for steel, I do want to proliferate this. Um, so because we have so much of this, I think I'm going to just go with two steel setups. Because these are going to be proliferated. So we're going to want, we're going to want,
on some stacking. Um, but <clears throat> we're gonna have to cut off the episode there. I think we're I think we're pretty long. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. <laughs>